And he's talking shit to the wrong one, I think, at this point. His weight's on the back foot. The other dude's hitting, and he's fucking, he's hitting his... Yeah, he's doing fucking, he's hitting the bag, and he's going like that. Oh, no. Yeah, no, yeah, it's not, there's nothing there. All right, what's up, YouTube? I'm here with legendary street fighter, Mighty Mouse, with Underground Fight League. YouTube handle is Mighty Mouse UFL. Yeah. So we're doing a breakdown on um, Logan Paul versus Antonio Brown. We're gonna watch some footage of both of them fighting, and we're gonna let you guys know what we think and who we think is gonna win in our picks for the fight. Did you watch the, uh, yeah. the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, I watched. The, I watched the lead up to this, man. Yeah, you watch everything. Yeah, I watched there, everything. There, yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was, I was, I was waiting for this. Shit. Yeah. So one thing I noticed, Logan can actually fight. The way he moves and throws punches, the biggest thing you look for in a lot of boxers, one is the rotation on their punches. Like if I'm throwing a right hand, they'll do a rotation to where their body leads the punch yeah, and it turns into the punch. punch. Right. He's athletic, man, period. I mean, he's a dude, like you said, he comes from a wrestling background and stuff like that. Man. You get a lot of these guys, man, uh, that are just got... They're just natural yeah. athletes. Man. You watch so, a lot of them? Yeah, I've seen a lot of them, man. I've seen guys that have never wrestled in school at all, but they play football. And I used to yeah. down them. I'd be like, man, just because you play football, man, that don't mean you can get in here and fight, man. But with a little bit of training, just because yeah, they're naturally athleticism, they, athleticism they, they man. Pick it up. Yeah, they were able to pick it up a lot easier, man. So, you know, that goes a long ways, man, you know, just having a natural body frame yeah. for that, man. This is why I noticed, though. You know, like the amateur shit where you're going and then... After we're in a like exchange, yeah, and you kind of disengage. Like better fighters, they'll know to disengage. So like focus, jab out, jab out. Yeah. Some he'll kind of disengage, and he does like come this. back out and let somebody. And let then somebody that's the case. Yeah, yeah, you counter punch him. Come man. up. Yep. You know he's only been training like a year and a half. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you see how he kind of disengages in that. See, like that, and he's kind of just sitting there. Yeah, yeah, like, I mean, he throws, he throws fast jabs from his hip, man. Yeah, you know, he, he's, he's, he's pretty athletic. Yeah, he, got, he does have good jabs. Yeah, and his footwork, I know his footwork's good. Like, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he gets in back. and out, he gets in and out really quick, man. Yeah, uh, I think KSI should have stayed on him and not let him breathe, man. They can't kill that range. I think he should have kept his nose in his chest and pretty much smothered him down. Even when he was trying to back out, I think KSI should have followed yeah, him and came, came in the whole time and kept moving in. Yeah. yeah kind of right. like what he's doing there. But right. He's right. smart for tying him up, though. Every time he would come in, he would tie him up. Yeah. Right here, that watch from KSI's back. I mean, uh, Logan Paul's backing up. Look, he's doing like this bailout right there. Yeah. When, like, when he kind of just did that hop out, yeah. KSI should have just... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And he was backing straight out a lot. I mean, and then he would circle out. Yeah, but he would, he would he would back straight up to begin with. Yeah, and then and and not cutting the angles. Yeah, like and not cutting be. angles off. Man. Then the uh, the other thing, he wasn't letting his right hand go in this at all. He kept doing the jabs, and he would never come through with the straight. And honestly, to me, man, it looked like KSI had a little bit more endurance. Definitely. You know, they, you know what I mean. I'm surprised at that. Logan can definitely get harder than KSI. But he just. And he was, he, was, he was standing in front of him, jabbing instead of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he should have been, he been circling out, using his range a little bit more moving. Yeah. You know what I mean? Circling out more than what he was doing. He was kind of just jabbing, staying right here in, in his face, man. And, and, you know, I think he should have been out. He could, he could have easily moved, yeah. moved away from him. Mix it up a little bit. Instead of just being here. Yeah, just standing right there. He was, he was too predictable. Yeah. You see, one of these, because KSI keeps winding up. Logan could have just fired a straight right, right down the phone. We need to spar this guy on video, man. He's got yeah, 20, we he's at like 20, 20 million subs, dude. We can meet at ATT, yeah, man. Logan, we calling you out, dog. Yeah. Let's set it up. Yeah, KSI, Logan, either one of y'all, man. Y'all need to come here, man. Yeah. Let's get it. I'll make a trip down here, man. We can do it right here in this cage. That was a good update. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way he called it a knockdown. <laughs> Oh, that was good. good. That was good. good. He hit him straight to the side. That was good. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Yeah, that was great. Foul from the kicks over here. So we're gonna get Oh, okay, so this is actually um, all the black colors are off. You got uh, Carpellucci up there. Here's Julian. Yeah, that was it. It was Julian. Yeah, that was the animal. What I noticed about Antonio Brown, you know, when a guy first joins a boxing gym and you're and you're teaching him keep your hands up yeah. and punch without dropping your hands, but yeah. now they're like too tight and they're kind of stuck here and they're playing yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like that, but his athleticism, even like punching, like punches hard as far as hell. Yeah, like yeah. it's like he's hitting these mitts in the back, yeah. and it's like, yo, his technique looks like shit, but he's still like starting to rotate on his punches. 
and um yeah he doesn't look uh, too crisp <laughs> doesn't look too crisp but yeah I mean it doesn't look that bad not that bad he could be he could be trained definitely I'd have to see him spar yeah I want to see him spar against another uh, he definitely looks like a very a very beginner yeah. But for like such a beginner, I mean... No, he's got natural ability. Yeah, when he throws like the one-two and it kind of turns into it. Yeah. Like he's rotating his upper body like right there. Once he gets loose, yeah. he's a little tight. He's a little, like you said, yeah, like a little beginner tight, shit. like beginner shit. You know? Who's your trainer? I don't know. Some big gym in LA though. I know they're in California. Sure. Yeah, so here's another... Um, this other clip of Antonio. So they're going back and forth right now. They're, uh, they're, they're talking shit. They've been other. talking shit to each other a lot. So another thing, you know, like when a when a boxer's new and um, when they're like stiff and they're told like how to stand and like how to throw punches. Yeah. But they're like trying to punch too hard, you know? They're not just letting it yeah, they're, fire off. Yeah, they're, they're drawn, so they're, they're kind of like, like, they're like fidgety. And they're yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what he's doing too. And it's going to be worse for him even when he's getting hit. In an actual fight. Yeah. yeah. If he's doing that with that, he's going to be real bad. Man. This this foot's coming off the ground and everything yeah. while he's punching. And like he's got like that stiff like. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. All somebody's got to do is sidestep him, dude. He's gonna, yeah. he's got all his weight on his front foot. All they have to do is sidestep him off the punches. He's gonna fall head first, man. He's using that bag to stop himself from falling. Yeah. Man, he's talking shit to the wrong one. I think at this point, I think yeah. he'd have to. Um, I think he, he he's got to uh, get some better coaching, man. Get a little bit. Maybe get another fight under, get a fight under his belt yeah. first, you know what I'm saying? Look, look how he's leaning all his weight on his front foot. Yeah. You know, if that bag wasn't there, he'd fucking fall. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's got to keep that, the that one weight back. I mean, it looks all right, I mean, you though. you think he could beat Logan Paul the way he is right now? So I, I think Logan Paul's going to move too much. I'll tell you what I think's going to happen if they fight. See how, see how he's standing yeah. back? See, see, that's, see that's, how, the, that's the way he needs to be. The legit box, you see how he's balanced the entire yeah. time. Yeah, I mean, his weight's on the back foot. The other dude's hitting and he's fucking, he's hitting. He's, yeah, he's doing his fucking He's fucking, he's hitting the bag and he's going like that. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, it's not, there's nothing there. <laughs> and the way he moves around with, with KSI yeah. and stuff, he's gonna, he's gonna miss him a lot. Probably make him look ridiculous. He's probably gonna miss him a lot. Yeah. But he hits hard. But, the, can, but he can hit that hard yeah. with endurance for how long? I know a lot of people that can hit hard for one minute. Yeah. Yeah. Does this guy even have any amateur fights? No. Uh, absolutely no. not. You know, so I don't know, man. And of course, he's going to have to fight him as a pro. He's going to have to go straight and get a pro card to fight yeah. Logan. I mean, if he trains, man, I mean, he's, he's under a good school, man. I've known guys, man, that have trained for five or six months at top schools that get better than dudes that have been training at bottom schools for years. Yeah. So I've seen guys bypass a lot of the bullshit just because just of the coaches at the record. Yeah, so he's moving around. This is what I think happens when they fight. Logan's obviously got better skill, but if this fight were to go down, AB would have... It's going to go down. Yeah, with the money. Yeah, it's going to go down. AB would have um, easily six to eight months to train. That now, could be plenty he's, to, to being a, where he's training now. Logan's that probably got plenty. two, two and a half years of experience, and then AB has the athleticism because he's a star yeah. NFL. Why don't he go train with Freddie Rocher in LA? Oh, wild card yeah. Go train with Freddie. Easy. Easy. That's what I'm thinking. Freddie Rocher get him ready in eight months easy. Especially if he's focused. Yeah. And he's just got to be, like, for lack of a better word, an amateur boxer. Yeah. I mean, it's not like he's fighting some world class guy. Absolutely. What I think happens in the fight, though, it'd be kind of like in the street fights, the aggression, I don't think Logan's going to be ready to take it on. But how because long do you think he's going to be able to keep that aggression endurance wise for a four or six round? I think I think he'll gas himself out, but he, he'll get the aggression and just charge forward and start swinging and throw out technique out the door. So you think he'll so you think he'll he'll you think he'll end the fight then? I think he has a really good chance of ending the fight and then if he does gas out because of his crazy athleticism, I mean, they'll pull him through. He'll be able to recover over the next few rounds and he maybe by then he'll be able to get good enough technique to kind of Lay off the next two or three rounds after he right. gas out the first one, and then like maybe that four, that fifth and sixth come forward again. 
I would really have to see. I, I, he would really have to. We have to see him in like some sparring footage. Not just that. From what I'm seeing right now, he's gonna have to get better coaching, and he's gonna have to get um, a better technique down. He's gonna have to get some real sparring in with some real people, man, and, and real coaching and stuff. Because of, of the way that he is right now, he's doing very beginner stuff. Logan Paul's already a couple steps ahead. Already had a bunch of fights and is already trained, and he looks a lot smoother than that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if they were to get in the ring right now, I would say Logan Paul would win from what I'm seeing. Yeah. You know, eight months down the road, like I said, schools and coaches make everything. So, and, and we're and we're also assuming that Logan Paul is just going to be sitting on the couch for the yeah, next eight no, months as well. Better better. You know, he's going to get better too. And he, so, he will know to know, fire off his right hand. Yeah, and he'll, he'll, better. So final pick, Logan Paul? Oh uh, yeah, Logan Paul. He's definitely, um, definitely, uh, I don't even want to say he's unorthodox. He's definitely sloppy. You know what I mean? Uh, from what I'm seeing him hit in the bag, he looks yeah. very sloppy. He looks very top heavy. He looks very, um, a lot of weight on his front foot. Just straight beginner stuff, man. Looks very stiff and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with Logan Paul. Yeah. Um, I would say um, I'm picking Logan Paul, assuming it's an even fight. But the real reason why I want to do this fight, they made Logan Paul, whatever sports book, at least odds on this, a minus 1,000 favorite. I don't. He is not that likely to be an nah, NFL that's, athlete. That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's what I was like. Look, look I at got Mary, man. You know they put. Mary All right, man. guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's our breakdown. Don't forget, check out Mighty Mouse UFL on YouTube. Join his Facebook group. Like and subscribe to both our channels. I'm Violi Vlogs. We're out. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.